In this video, I'm going to show you how to start a blog in ClickFunnels, even if you have no tech experience, never wrote a blog, never use ClickFunnels, nothing. And that's coming right up. Hey, Thomas Garrett's here. Thanks for tuning in. So like I said in this video, I'm going to show you how to start a blog with ClickFunnels, but I'm also going to show you how you can make an entire website with ClickFunnels and why it's so much better than WordPress. But before we get into that real quick, if you're new here, what I do on this channel is everything ClickFunnels and affiliate marketing. So if that's the kind of content you like, consider going below and subscribing, but make sure you hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload. All right, now let's hop into my computer and let's get into the content. Okay, so this, <laughs> this is actually one of the funnels I'm working on right now. It's a free training that'll be done in a couple of weeks. So stay tuned for that. You can join my Facebook group if you want to learn about this. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to click funnels right here and hit build funnel. Okay, and if this is your first time hearing about click funnels, and you found this video by mistake, I'm going to link up above to a click funnels tutorial. And that'll show you everything you need to know about click funnels. But if you found this video, I'm going to assume you know what you're doing. So you go to click funnels, build funnel, then you're going to hit create new funnel right here. And you can just choose collect emails. And then you can just name it blog or whatever you want to name it the name of your website it doesn't really matter and then hit build funnel. Okay, so I'm just going to delete that. Okay. All right, then for this, we're going to go to miscellaneous. And then you can either type in blog and we'll click that. And you see they have blog posts, they have blog page. So the blog page would be like where all your blogs are. And then that would link to the other blogs, right? And then there's a few different styles of blog posts. But first I want to show you a couple different things. So the reason why I'm doing this video is because I started this all the hard way, right? I started with a WordPress site and then I got ClickFunnels. So even just there, then you have two payments that you're paying for when you could just use ClickFunnels for everything. Now I will say if you plan on having blogging as like your main publishing, right? That's going to be your all in strategy. I would go with a WordPress website site. However, if you're going a different route, like YouTube, social media, anything like that, and you're going to already have click funnels, then I would just stick with just click funnels and do everything on there. It's going to be so much easier for you. And that way you can be laser focused on what you want to do rather than spreading yourself too thin. That was a terrible decision on my part. I wish I would have listened to my mentor, but I didn't. So I hope you take my advice. But then again, you got to make your own decision. Okay, so anyways, what I would do, if you're just starting out is 100% just do click funnels, right? You can make your website, you can make your funnels, you can make your blog, you can make your membership websites, you can do everything with click funnels. So how you would do if you're starting a website, they have literally everything in here. So you can see right here, they have the traditional home page. And that's just like your home page of your website, right? So what you would want to do if you're starting a website on click funnels, you would just add this, right? So I'm just going to preview it for you. So this would be your home page, you would have like a picture of you. And then what I I would do is I would add in like a spot to opt in for something because you always want that on your front page. And then you could just fill in some stuff here. It's super easy. You, they literally have everything laid out for you and you just have to put your stuff in. So these are just templates and it makes it super simple. So this would be just like having a WordPress website, but way easier. Okay, so you would have this as your home page, right? And then what you would do is you would have your blog page. So this is the first one we will add it. So this would be your blog post page, right? So we're going to edit page and this is super simple simple how it works, right? This is where you would have like each of your blogs, right? So this would be like we could change this to uh, affiliate marketing, right? And then you would just add a link to it, right? And you could have that link to the website, right? So you could you could link there and you could be like, uh, it would be your website.com slash affiliate marketing blog or whatever whatever you name it, right? So you'd have that and then also right here, you would click the button and you hit set action. And then what you would do is you would go to website URL, and then you would just put the same thing your website.com slash affiliate marketing blog, right? And you could have tons of different blogs here. And then you could just keep adding more, you could just like clone this thing and like delete this stuff. Or there's a couple different ways to do it. This way, it'd probably be the most simple. I mean, the last way might be more simple. But this would be the most simple. In my opinion, you just copy each element. So you clone, clone this one, clone this one, and then clone the button. And then all you would do is just drag each one down. Every time you make a new blog post, it's so simple. This is why I love click funnels, they make it so much easier to do stuff like this on WordPress, like it's not easy, and it does not look nearly as good. So you could just do it that way. Or you could start fresh by doing it like this. So it's pretty simple, you would just hit add new element, it would be like headline, add new element, 
another headline, headline. And then right there, they got a button, right? So then you would add a button, right? So it's super simple how they do this. It's very, very easy. And uh, yeah, so that's how you would just keep adding that, right? So it's super simple. And then all you do is you go into each of these spots, edit them, and then you add your link. And the way you know which link to link to, it's just this link, okay? So that's all you gotta do is you go in there. So if we'll just add a new step, right? And we'll, we'll call it home page, okay? So we'll create funnel step. Okay, so then we'll do home page. So this is another home page template. We could just select this one, right? So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here. So to change the name, you just click this little gear icon and then change this to blog page. Okay, update funnel step. And then we're gonna take this take this URL, we're going to go to our home page. Okay, edit it. And then you would add right here, go to settings. So we could change, let's change the training to blog, right. And then we would just link right there to our blog page, right, super simple, and you would just do that for everything. So then make sure you save it. I just wanted to show you kind of how you could make an entire website with click funnels and why that's so so powerful, right. So then you would just do that for everything and you can drag it down. Then what you would do is you would go here and you would go blog post one, right? Because you would have multiple blog posts if you were going to be putting multiple blog posts on here or you could put the name of the blog or whatever. But this is just for example. So then we'd go to miscellaneous, type in blog, and then there's a few different styles. I'll open them up. So there's this one, there's this one, and then there's this one. Okay, so then you choose which one you like, or you could use different ones for each blog. It really doesn't make a difference. So you see this one. I like this one personally, but I'd probably drag the newsletter over here. So it's simple. Headline of what the blog's named, written by your name on the date, and then you could have a little call to action up here and then you just write your blog. It's super simple. And then down here, they actually have the Facebook comments plugin, which is super cool. And then down here is just your footer. It's super, super simple. And I love it because everything is in one. You can make sales funnels. You can have everything in click funnels and it's so powerful. So really all you'd have to do is pick the blog post style you want to go with. This one is a three column one where you go here and then you have your name and a little bit about you. And then you have this stuff over here, right? So it's all super, super simple. And then you just again, you link everything. So you would link your homepage to your homepage one and then you link your about page to your about page one. And you can see here, you could go cancel this and then type in about and they have the about me page or the traditional about page. It's super powerful. Everything's already done for you templated. You just have to delete the text and re put what you need in there. So that's really I mean, it's super simple to do all this stuff. And I just want you to know so you can maybe avoid the stress of having to do multiple things. I spent so much time designing my WordPress site learning how to use it when I could have just used click funnels and I already knew how to use click funnels, right? So I don't want you to make the same mistake I did. It's totally up to you again. If that's the decision you want to make, go for it. But I think using click funnels and doing everything inside of click funnels is so much more simple and just the better bet. And if you're just starting out, you don't want to be spending money on a bunch of things, right? So that's my advice. And you would just keep adding blog posts and then keep linking to it on your blog page. And then make an about page, make a contact page, make a resources page where you add in all your affiliate products. And then you have your own website on ClickFunnels. It's super easy, okay? So that's just a little bit of what I've been doing. So then I'll show you a little sneak peek to what I've been doing inside ClickFunnels. Since I'm already here, I might as well show you. So this is actually my free training that I'm putting together. I'll just show you real quick. It's basically a business in a box funnel. And it's just step by step how to get started with affiliate marketing and ClickFunnels. It's super powerful. I've spent a lot of time on this and it will be done in the next couple of weeks. If you're in my Facebook group, then you'll get access to it first. But if not, I'll post on YouTube when it's finished. I'll let you know for sure. So it's literally just just step by step what you need to do how to get started and every step is just one thing super simple and uh, yeah so that's just a quick little sneak peek I don't want to ruin it for you but that's just kind of what I've been working on so if you have any questions put them in the comments below and also in the description if you want to get started with ClickFunnels there's a 14 day free trial and so real quick before I go up here I'll link up to my ClickFunnels tutorial playlist and up here I'll link up above to my affiliate marketing playlist and then you can click my face right here and subscribe to the channel so that's pretty much it. I'll see you next week.